I'm going to show you how to demote an Active Directory domain controller. The first example is going to be gracefully demoting DC02. And then in the second example, I'll show you how to force demote a server that is no longer online. So to start, the first thing you want to do is open up a command prompt and find out where your Active Directory FISMA roles are hosted. So to that, you can run net DOM query FSMO, and this will return the servers that are running your five FISMA roles. So I can see that my five FISMA roles are on DC01, so I don't need to actually move them. If you do need to move them, I'll link a video in the description, which gives a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. The next thing you want to do is open up your DHCP and just make sure in all of your scopes that the server that you're going to demote isn't listed in any of the DNS servers, as when you demote it, it'll no longer be providing DNS and could cause some issues. Once you've confirmed that it's not running the FISMA roles or doing any DNS, you can log on to the server which you want to demote, which in my case is DC02, and then open up Server Manager. Within Server Manager, you can go to Manage and then Remove Roles and Features. In the Remove Roles and Features wizard, you can press Next. Make sure to select the server that you want to demote and then press Next again. In the Server Roles wizard, you can untick Active Directory Domain Services and then press Remove Features. You don't have to keep Remove Management Tools ticked. But if you do, it'll just remove all of the snappings. So I'm just going to leave that ticked as I'm no longer going to be using the server. And press remove features. This error message is just saying that the server is still a domain controller, so we can't remove the feature just yet. But we can press demote this domain controller to start the demotion process. After I've clicked the demote button, it opens up the demote wizard. And here we can start demoting the server. You'll want to make sure you're logged in as administrator for the domain or any domain admin and then press next. This is just a warning to tell you that it will remove the DNS and the global catalog. So we can just press yes. So, sorry, and then we can just tick the box and then press next. Here we can specify a new local administrator password for the server as domain controls don't have any local accounts. So we'll just specify the local administrator password and press next. Here we can review any selections as well as viewing the script. If we want to run this, if we want to automate this process in the future. Once we've completed the wizard, we can just press demote and this will start the demotion process. Now that that's finished, it has automatically rebooted the server and we can now log in using a domain account because it's still on the domain, but we've just demoted it from being a domain controller. Now we've logged back in, we can see that there is a warning and it just says that we need to promote this server to a domain controller. That's because the Active Directory roles and feature is installed, but it is no longer a domain controller. So what we can do is go back to our primary domain controller and then if we refresh, we should see that the DC02 gets removed from the Domain Controllers Organizational Unit. And it has done. And it should now appear in the computers, which it has done, but it's no longer a Domain Controller, but it is still a member server. What we can do now is if for whatever reason you are repurposing DC02 or your demoted Domain Controller, you can then go through to Manage, Remove Roles and Features, and then just remove the Active Directory Domain Services DNS server roles. However, I would recommend just scrapping the server entirely and building a new one for any additional usage. Now that that's, now that that's been demoted, what we can do is go to our Active Directory Sites and Services. And if we refresh in here, we can still the server still here, but we can see it's no longer a global catalog. What we can do is just delete that as it's no longer needed and it can cause a bit of confusion. And there we go. That is how to gracefully demote a domain controller. If for whatever reason your domain controller that you want to demote is offline and it's no longer coming back on, 
you can demote it from the users and computers console by right clicking the domain controller that you want to demote and going to delete and then pressing yes. And this will come up with a warning to say that you're attempting to delete the domain controller without running the removal wizard. What we can do is we can just click delete this domain controller anyway, it's apparently offline and can no longer be removed using the removal wizard and then press delete. It will say this is an active global catalog. Do we want to continue this deletion? And we can just press yes. And there we go. That is now removed from the um, domain. And then if we go to our sites and services, we can see it's no longer a global catalog. And we can just right click and delete that as well. That is how you forcefully remove a domain controller from an Active Directory domain as well as gracefully removing it.